Hello YouTubers and RV owners. If you're like me, you're looking for something to try to give you some guidance on what to do if your slide starts giving you issues such as when you try to pull it in it begins to jump or if you take it out it begins to jump. Well what that boils down to is there's friction at the bottom of the slide that's causing it to stick and not go in and out smoothly. Now I was under the, in, the misconception that my slide had rollers underneath it. Um, as you can see I have the cable type slide which is typically manufactured by BAL, B -A -L, and they call it an AccuSlide. There's cable at the top and cable at the bottom and it's kind of a push-pull type scenario but uh, I had found some videos on YouTube that they had replaced the rollers underneath the slide uh, come to find out this unit doesn't have rollers it has a nylon or some type of plastic wear bar that the slide sits on top of for the entire length of it and it slides across that well I finally got underneath there and I was able to dig around and I found the wear bar that they're referring to and it looks like this uh, now this is just a piece of the wear bar that I cut out I don't know if you can see that very well but uh, in essence it sits in there like this and the slide sits on top of it like that and moves in and out in and out well come to find out these slides these super slides this one's about 12 foot long there's more weight at the ends of them than there is in the center so the ends of the slide compress this plastic wear bar more than the center does so it takes on more wear and that slide has darko covering on the bottom of it bottom of it uh, and the darko covering the black fabric looking stuff it rides directly on top of this wear bar they slip against each other it's a crazy idea if you ask me but i found a video on youtube that talked about replacing a section of this on each end of the slide or in several places along the bottom of the slide where the wear bar is by cutting a section of this out and installing some rollers that uh, Lippert makes some that will go in there have an angle bracket on it and you could bolt that in place once you get a section of this stuff cut out but I ran into a problem with that the fact that this height of this which is measured from from the table to the top of this is three quarters of an inch well the, the roller replacement rollers that people are installing are an inch and an eighth tall that makes quite a dip, bit of difference in the height of the bottom of the floor and I didn't want to do that I, I wanted it the same height because I didn't want a big gap at the front of it when the slide was all the way out like it is now so Rather than do that, I came up with another idea to where if that's sticking, I'm going to use something that will slide better against this plastic wear bar. So I went down to the home, local Home Depot or Lowe's and I found some aluminum flashing. This is in the roofing department. This one is 14 inches wide by 10 foot long. Comes in a little small roll. It was about ten dollars wasn't too bad at all and uh, basically I installed some runners underneath the slide that would come in contact with this wear bar rather than the Darko material that's attached to the bottom of the slide and uh, to top that off then found some uh, dry lube with Teflon it's not silicone uh, it's not sticky uh, the manufacturers suggest ZEP 45, which is basically the same thing. 
but uh, while I got this apart, I'll spray that entire wear bar and my new aluminum runners with, uh, with this and give it a little more slipping action to top things off. Now let me show you uh, what I'm talking about as far as where this wear bar sits and how that's situated with the, with the uh, slide house. First thing I'm going to do is run the slide in just a little bit. Right now it's fully extended, but I'm going to run that in just a little bit to take the uh, weight off of the top and the sides on the inside. That way I can use some floor jacks and some lumber and slightly raise this room up just enough to where I can get clearance between the wear bar and the bottom of the, uh, the house. Before I lift the slide house and expose the wear bar, I want you to see what the bottom of this thing looks like. So when you get underneath yours, you kind of have a feeling of what's going on. So if you look up here, there's the bottom of the slide house. And some, some models are different than others, but they all incorporate some kind of a seal which is what this is. You can see the screws holding it in place. Now, on this trailer, the seal is separate from the wear bar. Uh, the wear bar, this, this flap is part of the wear bar. Uh, it's molded into this other piece of plastic back here that goes up and becomes part of the wear bar but it's back behind this seal. So don't let that fool you. Anyway, that's all attached and it seals the slide house all the way down the length of it. Now, the section that I caught, cut out is right here. And if you look closely, you'll see the wear bar right up in there. Little piece of it. And how the slide house sits on top of that. This shiny stuff is a aluminum runner that I've already installed on this end. I'm going to put one in the middle right now. I thought it would be a good opportunity to uh, share with y'all how I do this. But as you can see, this strip is the dry lubricant of where I don't have a wear bar right there. Now I'm going to cover this with another piece of uh, rubber stripping, uh, uh, another seal, just so it's not exposed. But uh, this is what it, what it boils down to is what it looks like right here now. So it's got a nice slippery aluminum surface to slide against the wear bar right there, rather than just this black fabric Darko material. Stupid idea. I don't know why they did that. But anyway, so I'm about to lift the house up. You can see I got one floor jack. I'm about to raise it. Um, I'm going to spread the weight out with using a two before or another means across it so it doesn't lift up on one section here. I want it to have a larger footprint. And then I'll do the same thing on the other end where I've already uh, installed one of the uh, aluminum runners. And I'm going to place this one more or less in the center. But uh, I'll, I'll position it in, in a way where I can attach it uh, to the front of the floor of the slide house on the inside. I'll show you what I'm talking about here shortly. But uh, anyway, give me just a minute and we'll get the house raised up and you'll be able to see the, uh, the bottom of the floor and the wear bar and the gap in between and what we'll be doing. So stand by. Okay, so here we are back underneath the slide house. And now I have it raised just about an inch and a half uh, using the floor jack with some tuba sixes to whatever I could come across to <laughs> make it work. And I've raised it evenly, nice and slowly. And now you can see the crack up here uh, between the floor and the seal. If you look back in there, that right there is the wear bar. Right there my fingers touching. And it extends the whole length of the slide. And all the way up and down. So what we're going to do now is this section that I'm in right here, uh, there's my other aluminum repair there. You can see the runner. Uh, it's attached up here. And then the same thing with that one down there. Kind of hard to tell. I'm going to guide my new runner in from the front side of the trailer, or from the inside of the uh, trailer. 
uh, because uh, the way I want to attach it and I'll go over that in just a second before we go any further let's talk about what you're going to need to do this job uh, first off you're going to need some flat stainless steel washers these are eighth inch by one inch Home Depot of course or Lowe's always get stainless so it doesn't rust up underneath the uh, underneath the slide house you're going to need two different sizes of screws these are number eights by three quarter inch and these are number eights by half inch. I'll use these on the inside and I use these underneath the house on the outside. And both of those are also stainless. You're gonna want, uh, you're gonna want a Sharpie of some sort to mark some lines uh, on your aluminum. You're gonna want a, an X-Acto knife. You're gonna need a set of 10 shears. Um, these are for another project. You're gonna need a drill gun, of course, with the right tips. You're going to need the aluminum flashing. Again, like I was telling you earlier, this is from Home Depot. It's 14 inches by 10 foot long, about 10 bucks. You're going to need some alcohol, some something, some kind of cleaner. Um, it'd be best to have some of this uh, dry lube. This is blaster. I've got brake parts cleaner for cleaning the back side of this aluminum. And before I put it all together, I've got some high strength contact uh, adhesive there that I'll spray both that Darko material and also the aluminum uh, runner that I'm okay so as I was saying <laughs> you're also going to need some rags to uh, clean up with uh, to wipe down the, uh, the the aluminum runner and uh, the underneath of the Darko material um, you might need a few other little things but that that'll get the most of it so uh, first thing we need to do is prepare our aluminum take our aluminum roll and uh, prepare that to install it. We need to know how long a piece we need. Um, and we also, uh, in, in my case, I've, I've pre-bent the front side of it to fit the front edge of the slide room floor. Um, that makes it uh, just a little easier to work with. And I'll show you what I'm talking about here in, in just a moment. Okay, so a moment ago, uh, we were gonna go get our aluminum roll and uh, stretch that out see how long a piece that we need and then I want to do a, a pre-bend on the inside so here you can see I've taken the aluminum rolled it out cut it to a length that I thought would be adequate and I've pre-bent the end of it here such like that now well, a moment ago also I went ahead and I raised the slide house from outside so now I've got a gap in this floor uh, that can be seen once you raise the carpet. So if you raise this carpet flap, there is the slide floor, and here is the gap that we created. So this is the easy part. Really. So I'm just going to take my aluminum and run it underneath the slide house, just like that. And right now, it's just falling out from underneath the slide on the outside. Now I place it where I want it to go. In this case, because of the uh, couch here, or the dinette, which is this post right here, it, I don't want to have to deal with this sticking out here, so I'm just going to put it right here. And that'll, uh, that'll, that'll do just as good a job. So I just lift that up over the edge of the floor like so. See if you can get a little closer here. Just slip it up over the floor like that. And then uh, get me some of my screws. These are the short ones, the uh, half inch, number eight by half inch. And I'll get some of these flat washers. Use a screw and a flat washer. something crash out there. I was hoping it wasn't my piece of aluminum that just went flying. All right, so we'll get that pushed up all the way. And this is tapered, this wood is tapered, the floor, so I need to go in as far as possible. I've, I bent this lip at about three inches out. So I got a three inch overhang here, and I'll try to get up on far as that as, as possible. By the way, it's Texas, and it's about 100 degrees, it feels like. 
So just run that in like that. Do it a couple more times. Get nice and secured. The washers I'm using just to kind of help it keep from buckling. I'm going to tighten that up a little more. There we go. Just don't want to strip it out. This just keeps it from pulling out. And one more here. like that and here it loose up underneath there all right so we're in, done with the inside for the most part so now we'll go outside okay so we're underneath the trailer again or underneath the slide house and here's our aluminum runner uh, that we fed in from the front side and I've already taken and cleaned the Darko material here and I've cleaned the back side of this aluminum here. So now I'm going to take the spray trim, or the this is 3M high strength 90 contact adhesive. And I'm going to spray both the uh, Darko with this without getting it anywhere else. Uh, and I'm going to spray the back of the uh, tin. All right, so I don't know if you can tell, I just sprayed the back of the aluminum runner and I've got the Darko material up here sprayed. I'm just letting that set up a little bit and get kind of tacky. And then uh, once it's a tacky enough, I'll start up here at the very front, close to the inside of the trailer or inside of the house and begin uh, pushing that up against the adhesive while I'm also pulling it at the same time. But uh, that'll take just a minute. We want to make sure it's good and tacky and all the solvent has flashed off, which it feels like it has. So I'm going to begin. So just start at the front. And that bin that we put in the front edge of the aluminum before we started, I used a square to make sure that that was a perfectly square bin so that this would run straight once I put it back here. Now, needless to say, I'd already cut this aluminum runner to be where it needs to be on the end out here so that I wouldn't be uh, running over. But anyway, just push that up and run it out. You can use a, a towel or something. Kind of work it in real good. Just like that. Go all over it. Make sure it's good and stuck. Not that it needs to be, but it just kind of helps hold it in place. Because this is all solid flooring. Uh, so you don't have to worry about it bending the aluminum or something like that it'll, it'll work just fine like it sits so yeah and once you got that done then we need to secure the end of it now there's about this much of a gap that uh, is exposed on this side up here um, as you can see in that bracket and those brackets down there so that does not come in contact with this up here because of this this gap right here so you do have some room to put a few screws in this to keep it from pulling up in there or, or getting slop in it so that's what we're going to do now again use your washers modification right there oh okay so uh, these little flat washers that I told you are an eighth inch by one inch get the next size up three sixteenths yeah had to go drill the hole out larger this is my second trip to get these so I got the wrong ones on the second trip, of course all right so anyway let's put some screws in this thing that. Like it. Want them all the way up nice and flat. 
Try not to scrape out your screw heads. That'll make your day. And I like to put four. That's what I did on the other side, uh, on the ends. And one more. That's it. All right. Once that's done, give it a shot of blaster dry lube with Teflon. Spray it down. Be happy with it. <laughs> you can see it dries to that white powdery looking substance there. And I sprayed it up in here on our wear bar. You can see it's white. And that's a good thing. All right, so really, this installation is complete. I'll let the uh, slide room down, nice and easy. And then uh, run it in and out a few times, see how she does. Okay, so we're done. Now it's just time to try it and uh, see how it turns out. So I'm going to run the slide all the way out first. Ooh, look at that, nice and smooth. Now we'll go all the way in. Look at there, no jumping. That makes, that makes me happy. That was the uh, result I was looking for. Nice and smooth. Actually smoother than it was when we bought it. Way it should have worked to begin with. It's awesome. So anyway, that's one way you can tackle the bouncy slide house. I know some people say that they just lubricate it and go on with it, and that's fine. But to be honest with you, I didn't want to have to crawl underneath there all the time and spray the dang thing. I think that's just stupid. So I believe by using these aluminum runners uh, underneath there. We'll, we'll solve that problem. Time will tell. Uh, they'll probably, they're going to last longer than we'll own the trailer more than likely. But anyway, um, that should, uh, that should help y'all out, I hope. Um, let me know. Thanks. Y'all take care.